Oh, hello, hello. Welcome again. Welcome to the big heart, to the oneness, to be together, to be one, and to meet again this week with another great leader. And this time, as we say, we will begin our prayer. And um, I think uh, she promised us to smell the fragrance of her words, of her prayers, of her connection with God, with divine. And I'm sure we can catch that fragrance because we began this year with the youth. This time with a very great leader, Shad Baghdadi. She is a very uh, deep and she is very serious leader in our path. And I, I, I will not talk a lot. You know her. And I will invite Chad. Chad, it's yours, please. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's nice uh, to see this is face again. I um, really miss you. I miss this meeting. Assalamu alaikum. So nice to see you again and again, because this is the sign that we are together, or it's the sign that we are one. Many times I try to use all of my energy to stop all of the hatred from this world. And I try to stop all of this enmity. But before I begin, I saw the great effects of our pure intent and the light of your eyes. Honestly, that would give me the power to continue my work of building the harmony and the connection within me and allow this es essence of the love to fly all over the world and create understanding and knowing. I will say as my daily prayer and also my dreams, God help us to heal the globe and to heal the hearts and the bodies from the black disease the ego. God sent us the power and the will to complete the circle of the great life. God, unit us through our human response. God, help us to stop the clash between the people because they are your made. God, we pray for you to save the people from their greed and their envy. God, clean our hearts to see you on your creation and your great work. And show us great mercy. Loved God, we will pray and we are sure you will hear all together to save us. Love you, God, throw our love to all of the people. And I would like to mention some something. The best days were never easy inside the Holy Land. As we pray for peace today, I pray that these painful events don't con continue for long. Amen. 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 Thank you, Shad. It's really deep Thank and you. great prayer. And we appreciate your connection with God. I think this tube and this uh, inner channel or between you and between divine, it's uh, uh, rained on us lots of uh, blessings and lots of love, lots of connection, lots of understanding. And it really, I understood from the depth of your prayer that we need to be all of us as one, not to be pro-right or pro-left. All of us, we are one 
person. We are one family, <clears throat> the descendants yes. of the same father and the same mother. I want to say that when we say we are the descendant of Abraham, I don't want to make Sarah and Hagar and Keturah uh, uh, angry. No, we are the descendant of all of them. And I want to say, if we can clean our uh, memory and clean our imagination, we can be also the ancestor of all of these world and the globe it's depend from where are you looking from the end or from the beginning where is the end and where is the beginning this between sometimes you can lose yourself for inhalation for healing for love for connection and as shad said in the end please Pray for Israel and the Palestinians, the Pal Pal Palestine, Palestinian territories. Uh, the situation need more activities, more uh, 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 prayers, more energy. As Shahad, she try, she says she tried to activate her energy for to stop many uh, dark things and to bring light. I really would like from all of you to do that. And I, I, oh, Shahabuddin's here, Shahabuddin. Would you like to say something? We cannot hear you. Now you can hear me, I hope. Yes. Um, the situation now outwardly is really so difficult, so painful in Israel and Palestine. And if you look at it only one way, it seems so dark and so, so really so difficult. But our work, and I mean this as sincerely as I can phrase it, our work is to focus on hope, on light, and on love and to have faith that us fo few of us focusing on that can change the outcome in the world it's so easy in times of tragedy to lose the connection with the light but peacemakers are the ones who hold that connection and um i just saw there's a wonderful video with uh, Desmond Tutu and the Dalai Lama in 2015. If you haven't seen it, you should take a look. These two people have been through such pain and yet had so much joy. And I hope that, that we can carry on that belief in that tradition. And I love God and I know Inshallah, she's going to be on this planet a long time. Longer than some of us on the call, certainly. Evan. And I feel confident and hopeful in the future because of you, Shad, and others like you. Young people who are really holding the truth and holding the light in the midst of darkness. So, thank you. Thank you, Shahabuddin. Thanks for these very deep words. I would like to hear in two words, it's not exactly, from Rabbi Zaslo, something to say about the situation. You, your voice, we cannot hear you. Yeah. Thank you. Shalom Aleichem, Salam Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Shahed, you... It's eight o'clock in the morning here in Oregon, and you made my day. You really uh, just those beautiful, simple words have just filled my heart uh, because all of us get a little hopeless sometimes, like this will never end. But you make me remember that not only will it, will it end, but it will transform. There'll be transformation in Palestine, in Israel, really in the whole world, in, in, in Ukraine, in Russia, that uh, something great is coming 
but sometimes we have to go in this journey in the wilderness and we feel a little bit lost. I remember one of my friends who's doing this amazing work, this peacekeeping work, uh, was, was asked about, uh, well, are you left wing or are you right wing? And he used this beautiful analogy that an eagle a uh, bird has to have two wings in order to fly. You can't be left wing, you're going to fly in circles. And you can't be right wing, you're going to fly in circles. So I pray that um, all the governments um, stop taking sides, so to speak, and realize they need balance. And that balance is what's going to bring us to this uh, this era, this time of peace in, in, in the whole world. And I bless all of you in leadership in the Abrahamic reunion, because the simple work that you do is more profound than you realize and that we realize. It just sets up a vibration that will change the world. And uh, Shahed, you made you you changed my world today. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Zaslow. Really, it's it's very deep, and I would like to ask. That's my honor. <laughs> oh, I would like to ask Reverend Cliff Cutler to say some words. Yes, I. Uh... It's always hard to follow the rabbi. He uh, is, uh, his words are so wonderful. Um, for me, I've been thinking in my tradition, there's a beatitude that goes, uh, blessed are the merciful. And I think that's the way of compassion in life. And uh, yes, there are differences, but our, our path is to embrace. And uh, I think um, uh, with all the... Uh, divisions and, and partisanship, uh, we need to move past that to uh, to mercy and compassion and, and uh, embracing the other. So thank you, uh, Shahed, for your words. They, uh, they indeed were uh, profound and, uh, and helped uh, guide me in, uh, in my awareness and concern for Palestine and Israel. Thank you. I mean, thank and, you. Uh, Iman Gassan, can I just say one more word here? Yes. The, the Jewish world this, this Shabbat will be reading about the crossing of the sea, Yam yes. Suf, the oh. crossing of what we call the Red Sea. Yes. And what's profound about it is that in our tradition, there were like four groups of people. The first group of people were so scared they wanted to go back into Egypt. They wanted to go back to slavery. The second group was like so terrified, they really wanted to take their own lives, like what happened at Masada. The third group wanted to pray. Uh, the, the fourth group um, was a <laughs> profound group because not they didn't want to kill themselves. They didn't want to go back. Um, and they didn't want to pray. The, and the fourth group was listening to Moses, listening to God, who said, just go forward. You don't have to pray now. You don't have to go back. You don't have to take your lives. Go forward. And that's what I bless us all to do. When we get a little hopeless, just go forward. Keep doing our work. Allah. Allah. Yes, we will go forward, and inshallah, we will pass the Red Sea, and uh, we will succeed to bring all the people together. We have and here I also Abed. Abed, he is the Israeli uh, uh, director of Abrahamic Reunion. In a very short, Abed, if you would like to say something. Yeah, yeah. I was just want to thank you for your prayer, because we need all these prayers, especially in this time. Uh, I think all of you reading all the reports around the world, what's happening, and thank you very much, and keep, please send your prayers always to us. Thank you. Thank you. Mohammed Jamus, the Palestinian director, he was with us in, in a very short. Mohammed, say something, please. Pray. Or, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom alaikum. Thank you, Sheikh Hassan. First of all, it's very good to see you, uh, to see your faces. I just, I just got home to Ramallah from, from a big violence in Jericho right now. Uh, but as you said, and like as Shabidi said, we are holding and we are, uh, we are like controlling the, the connection between Israel and Palestine and between the Israeli and Palestine. We will not lose any control because this is our work and this is our duty to keep this connection strong in this, uh, in this holy land. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you all. Thank you. I, I, I would like to thank all of you, but uh, I will mention something. We are uh, increase our activities and our work. At this time, when we are praying here, the women, they are meet the Jewish 
a Christian, Muslim, and Druze women, they are meeting in Dalit al Carmel now at this time to discuss what to do, how to help their societies. And they are a very high level of uh, women leaders in the Holy Land, Palestinians and Israelis. And it's very great for us. We will do also soon speaking tour. I would like from all of you to welcome us to come because we need to explain what we are doing, how we can help, and also to raise some money for uh, the Holy Land. We are in very serious time and we need your help. We need you to be with us and to prepare the land for our speaking tour. We'll tell you when it will be. And inshallah, we will come to see all of you. And also we have Ramadan and other uh, 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 holidays comes. We will talk and we will see what we can do together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless everyone on, on, in this earth. Ha'eli varech it kol ha'amin. Allahu yubarik jami' al-alam. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. See you next week with the unity prayer. Salam, shalom, peace.